I'm from Brazil. And uh, if you live outside Europe or outside the United States, uh, life is a little bit slower when we want to seek opportunities. And that is my journey. Um, there is a lot of um, fighting for opportunities and trying my best to get there. So I would say it takes us longer to find out what are our role in this world because our process of learning is different. So I am from Belo Horizonte and through the YMCA, I got several opportunities to get involved in the environmental programs, both in, in Brazil, then in the US, and then in other places. I end up studying in Switzerland, not because it's fancy and amazing, but I figured out that studying in Switzerland was cheaper than studying in Brazil. And then that was a door that opened me a lot of new opportunities. So after 15 years in Switzerland, studying geography, being a dendrochronology, my husband and I, we, we came to the sun in Barcelona in Catalonia. And the pandemic started right away when we, we arrived. And as educators, as people who love nature, we realized that the situation for students in Catalonia was very difficult. Uh, the ratio, oh, there we go. Thank you so much. Uh, the ratio of students is quite, um, let me see. I'm trying is that my presentation you have my presentation right yes you can share your own now i think um, andrea I'm sharing shared it my screen oh, are okay. you sharing your screen then Thanks, yes Dan. if you want we can go with dan and his sc screen i sent the presentation already that's that's helpful thank you so much uh, so we end up it here and we had a true lockdown we couldn't leave home the kids that when they came back to school, it was very challenging. And by chance, we were invited to visit a family that had three kids and were looking for a, a, a teacher that could teach them at home. So do you think I could move from here or then you pass it for me? So this is the first time we got, this is me and my husband, and we got to this place that was first abandoned for 25 years. And we went there to teach three kids. And, you know, the universe prepares a special places. And when we arrived there, I said, that's a place that we could start a school. Having nature alternatives for kids would be beautiful. Next is light. So this place is 35 minutes from Barcelona. We're on the countryside. And it's seven hectares of beautiful Mediterranean land that we decided to start the school uh, for a school base, but with a curriculum. You can continue. What type of pedagogy we decided to use? Well, I studied in Catholic school. So I honestly question what education has been all these years with all the meanings behind that. But Paulo Freire from Brazil, from the critical and social pedagogy during the Rio 92, he started writing about eco-pedagogy, but he wasn't able to finish that. And that is simply the concept of learning about yourself, learning how to relate with others, learning how to take care of nature. And he didn't finish that, but other researchers continue his work. Next. Um, Starting a school felt like a dream. We had the power, the emotional power to do that. But soon enough, we found out that alternative schooling in Spain has always been an anarchic movement. And since the 19, uh, 19th century, for example, Francisco Ferreri Guardia, he started one of the first modern schools in Barcelona just to be killed persecuted. He was persecuted and killed in 1909 for starting a school that was outside the models expected. So with the whole civil war and then the, the, the dictatorship, it was very difficult to install any type of uh, schooling. 
in the present, the, bureaucrat the, the, the bureaucratic system still remains. Schools like ours cannot be recognized. There is no single law that can uh, affirm that we are a school in a forest. Uh, next. But interesting cases happen too. Um, Marti Boada Junca is a geographer. And after the dictatorship, he started the first ecological school in, in Europe. And he was granted by Nelson Mandela a prize for his work. And with our progress at the school, we, we were at one moment denounced to the government that we were an illegal school. And Marti became our friend. And so these photos you see is from him in 1978 with kids in the forest. And this photo is from two weeks ago uh, at our place at the school. And he has been a shield of power through what we've been doing so far. Next. So our vision is to create this space where we grow with the space. We, we, we live in a in a peaceful uh, and connected heart with nature and with the people around us. Next. So everything is everything we do, we do for the community. We are 17 nationalities. We have three full-time teachers. We offer tuitions that are accessible for anybody coming. Uh, we offer scholarships. We currently have 32 students. Next. Gaia came as a beautiful support with ecological curriculum and UNESCO and curriculum from the European Union. So we merge, we can go to the next one. We merge our curriculum with soft skills. So they do learn mathematics and science, but they also learn Kaizen, diplomacy, chess, capoeira, qigong, yoga, gardening, cooking, forest ecology, tree health. So that's the way we go. Next. We have a lot of space to share knowledge, not only from a scientific point of view. We share what we know. We share our stories. We share our past. Next. And we welcome everyone to tell their story. Uh, this week, we had a very beautiful story to tell from one of the indigenous tribes from Amazon in, in Brazil. And what touched my heart mostly was to hear from the shaman. He said, oh, your kids are just like ours in the tribe. And I was like, how? And he said, they are free. They are wise. Please don't let them to lose their wisdom. And that was such a certification for me that we're putting the right effort. Next. Uh, you probably cannot hear the sound, but this is a friend of us that introduced Our us to the project. With other families from all different cultures and backgrounds, it gives them this expanded sense of what home is, what earth is. And also you can feel there's an open psychology versus when it's only one culture, there's a, there's a smallness that happens. And if our children are going to face um, the continued degradation of planetary systems, the growth of um, economic strife and warfare. I think that, you know, having an uh, international uh, expanded understanding of, of their place in the world is going to give my boys a, an amazing capacity to contend and to be agents of change. I love that. And for you as an adult, because one of the things that I love about the school is that um, the parents seem, most of the parents seem to be intimately involved on, on different levels and yeah. some teach there, but but it's not just the kids that benefit. Yeah. It seems to be almost a requirement yeah. to be inclusive. Yeah, I mean, one thing I love about the school and one of the reasons we said a strong yes to the school is because the parents are invited to participate in the curriculum of the kids, which um, is very different than the strong schism that's created between family and children because of the economic systems that we're living in. 
we're all enslaved to our jobs or maybe not enslaved, but we're, we're part where we got to work. We got to make the, make the money. And so just as a result, there's not even a question are the, could the parents participate more in the education, right? This isn't just about parent teacher meetings. This is about, you know, us as parents being able to co-create the curriculum in different ways. You know, we were able to bring in our friend who's an expert in nutrition to lead a course in, in nutrition. Yes, and this is complementary to the talk. Look, we offer a lot of things and we have some needs that we would like to leave it over there. And we are so happy to collaborate in any levels. Um, so I will leave this list afterwards for everybody. Next. And uh, get in touch. I believe that this type of con of education, of type of humanized education, especially, is important to be shared. And we are for sure stronger together. So let's connect. Thank you so much for the opportunity.